So in this video, I'm covering the Suzuki Triangle. You'll hear this term a lot if you're um, reading books about Suzuki philosophy and lessons, or if you go somewhere like an institute. Um, so the Suzuki Triangle is an equilateral triangle, and it's just a way for us to illustrate the roles and responsibilities of everyone involved in the lesson. So the people in the Suzuki Triangle are the child, the parent, and the teacher. And it's equilateral because we all have the same level of respect. One person is not above another, no one has um, more responsibility over another per se. So not everything falls on the teacher to handle and not everything falls on the parent to handle. Nothing falls on the child to handle until they get older and we begin to shift some of the responsibility towards them. So first of all, the child's responsibility is to be a child uh, and that's it. It's just to be a child. Now when it comes to the um, teacher's responsibilities. The teacher has a responsibility to teach the child in a fair and respectful manner and to impart correct, good factual information to oversee their overall technical development as well as their character development. Um, and then with the parents, the teacher is focused on educating the parent to be a good home teacher like we're doing right now. Uh, and suggesting what to practice, how to practice, um, helping uh, parents understand how to establish good practice habits and information on um, how to do things well and a technical aspect of a violin playing as well as a musical aspect. And then just helping to support and encourage and affirm the parent's role in the Suzuki Triangle. Now the parents' responsibilities when it comes to Suzuki Method education is to play the recordings. So your children do need you to help get ready for practice. So it is your responsibility to turn on the music for them, the recordings, and help guide them and instruct them when it's time to practice and help them get ready. Um, attending the lessons and taking notes. I give a lot of information to you through the parent education classes and through my music staff and communication through email and that sort of thing. So when you come to lessons, you're welcome to take pictures, um, take video. If you want me to include any of that with your my music staff notes, just email it to me, text it or airdrop it while you're right here in the studio, that would be great. Um, but as far as actually taking um, handwritten notes, you're welcome to do that. Um, if you want to add any personal notes for yourself, um, that would be great. Um, a parent responsibility in the Suzuki tri Triangle is to practice with your child and being the um, home teacher or your child's assistant while uh, they're practicing. So what you're essentially gonna do in the very first stages up through maybe at least the first year is that you're going to do what I do in the lesson. So you're gonna become me at home. Okay, so that's why it's important for you to listen in on the parent education classes and understand what it is that we're doing. Okay, so that we're not kind of like bumping heads against each other as um, I'm trying to instruct your child to hold their bow this way in a specific way and then at home, due to a lack of understanding of what it is that I'm looking for, you may teach your child a different way. So then the child gets confused and doesn't know what to do for the bow hold and then we start to have conflict. The child won't listen to the parent because the teacher's doing it a different way or the child won't listen to the teacher because the parent's doing it a different way. So it's really important that we're all on the same page and have good open communication. Um, learning the basic instru instrument skills, and you'll get that through your parent education classes. And then observing and learning from other children's lessons. So when you have the opportunity to observe another child's lesson or um, other children in group classes or recitals to, to watch and see what's happening, you'll get a good idea as well as your child will get a good idea of what's coming up as they progress. But please keep in mind that we're not comparing and we're not judging other children against your child. Everybody learns at a different rate. So in Suzuki philosophy, we say every child can learn to play the violin, but every child does learn at a different rate. And there's all sorts of reasons why we learn at different rates, but we're just not going to um, be judgmental of others in their, their journey and their process 
of how quickly or how slowly they might learn because again there are all kinds of reasons for why things happen when they happen or why they happen to work out in that timeline so we don't have a set timeline your child's not going to fall behind so don't start comparing your child against other children when you see them um, in lessons recitals group class uh, etc so all right, so I think that's about it for what I wanna say about the Suzuki Triangle. The idea is that when we all are on the same level as far as respect, so the teacher is not more important or should not be more respected than the parent, vice versa, and the same with the child, the child is respected equally as um, just a human being, you know, compared to parent uh, and, and teacher. So that would be the Suzuki Triangle. Let me know if you have any other questions about this concept. Thanks for watching.